Hello, everyone, and welcome into another edition of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Tony Sapita, and today I am joined again by special guest, White Sox expert and season ticket holding partner of mine, Jason Frank. How are you doing today, Jason? Hey, Tony. Doing well. Thanks for having me back on again today. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Uh, today, we're going to be hitting on Jose Abreu. He is the hottest man alive in the month of August. Uh, he's a he's kind of like a father to these guys on the team, like Luis Robert and Eloy. And he's also the reigning MVP, as I'm sure all of you know. Uh, before we get into all that, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Stupid Car Tray. Um, I have a tray. It works. Have it in my car. Have it on my couch. It's awesome. Uh, if you want to enjoy Sox games at home or on the road even more, head out to www.stupidcartray.com and use J16, code J16, J-A-Y-1-6 at checkout to get 16% off. Uh, the link is in the description below. But all right, Jason, let's get into a little White Sox talk. Uh, so as always, we'll start with a little recap. So since last episode, uh, the White Sox are three and two. Uh, they had a couple days off. It was kind of weird. Um, definitely out of the ordinary. They uh, they swept the Pirates in all two games, swept the season series against them. Uh, we called it. I mean, they suck. And then they had a bad series against the Royals in Kansas City. And I don't know what it is, but uh, they always seem to struggle with them. And I was wondering, Jason, do you know why they, uh, they maybe struggle against the Royals? Tony? I said it last podcast, I said they needed to score early against the Royals or the Royals could take the series. In the one game we won, we scored eight runs in the first three innings. No surprise there. But then in the other two games, well, one of them we got shut out. But then the other game, we didn't score until the sixth inning. Teams like this, you can't give them hope because if you let the game linger on farther and farther into the sixth, seventh, eighth innings, they think they can win it. And if you're a team like the White Sox, you just can't do that against a team like the Royals. And then also called it Salvador Perez. He had eight RBIs between Saturday and Sunday, and the Royals put up 13. The guy's a stud. You have to respect him. I don't know. Walk him, do something. Just don't let him hit a home run. It's ugh. I completely agree. It's like that. Uh, they should treat like uh, Bryce Harper a couple of years ago where they just walked him just like six times in a game, but it, it truly is insane because we just get tormented by these guys sometimes uh, like Nelson Cruz, Aaron judge, Jose Ramirez, uh, Salvador Perez. They just they, like, will you know, will no hit the rest of the team. And they hit like three home runs of that night. It's like, just make a one adjustment. I don't know. Walk him. Exactly. Like you said, something, but that's okay. That's okay. Cause we're moving on. Uh, quick housekeeping, uh, just kind of from last week and into actually today, which is Tuesday when we're recording. Uh, so Tuesday night's game. Uh, so last night, the A's uh, against the A's. Jimmy Lampert actually pitched awesome. Uh, he had a tough first inning, but he settled down and uh, saved the bullpen, which was sweet. Uh, five innings, three hits, one earned run, two walks, two strikeouts on 70 pitches. Uh, that was great to see. That's kind of what we need right now. We just need innings eaters with with uh, all these injuries. Uh, another thing, Yo Mankata may have extended his hit streak to 19 games tonight. It was allegedly broken, allegedly snapped on Saturday, I believe it was, at 17. However, or would that have been Friday? Either way, however, the MLB is actually reviewing uh, an error by Whit Merrifield uh, on a ball that was hit like 107 miles an hour and may rule it a hit. So he would continue his hitting streak because he got a hit tonight. Uh, He's got like three hits tonight, actually. Uh, Grandal uh, is one for two, two walks, a run score, and an RBI tonight. Um, he's actually batting right now, so maybe I'll give you a live update. But the main point is he gets on base, just like we told you guys. Go listen to the last episode if you want to hear more about Grandal. And lastly, Larry Garcia is 10 for 20 in his last 20 at-bats uh, as of the seventh inning when we're recording. That's insane, but that's a whole nother podcast. So now on to the main topic, the main reason you guys came here. This one's about the leader of men, the best first baseman in baseball, Jose Abreu. Jason, tell us about Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu, the current reigning AL MVP, got his second consecutive August AL Player of the Month award this past month. In August, he was slashing 330, 382, and 661. Amazing. Batting 37 for 112 at the plate, seven doubles, 10 home runs, 25 RBIs, 22 runs scored over 28 games, not to mention the countless gold glove level plays we saw the entire month. And honestly, we've seen the entire year. 
He's also currently tied over the entire year for the lead league in RBIs with 103. So it's not just August where he's playing well, but he finally got his recognition again. He really just seems to get it done on a night in and out basis, and he steps up whenever we need him to. Even in our 10-7 win against the Royals, our only win, the dude went three for four with three runs and a walk. So if it wasn't for him, uh, gives me chills, but we might have got swept by the Royals. And then a less glorious stat, he's been hit by a pitch 18 times this year, which is the fourth most So he gets on base. I don't know if that's his decision to get hit 18 times, but regardless. And another little hit by a pitch stat for you. He's been hit in a White Sox uniform 101 times as of tonight when he got hit. I think it was in the second at bat, putting him tied for third all time with Paul Konerko. I don't know if this is a list he wants to be on, but he gets on base, right? (laughs) <laughs> absolutely he gets on base and uh unfortunately i believe his uh home run on tuesday streak will be broken he had four straight literally the month of august he had a home run every tuesday <laughs> in the month of august uh tonight that was broken so i was riding it i made some money um unfortunately lost tonight but that's okay because he is the man uh in august so that's jose Abreu. he's i they're gonna build him a statue he's the best uh so we're gonna kind of look ahead to the coming week uh, so Monday, we, uh, this past Monday, I guess we had off, uh, but the A's series continues on. I touched on a little earlier. Uh, they're up six to one in the, I think it's bottom of the ninth. They're going to win this game. Uh, so first off though, Oakland needs to move to Las Vegas already. They need to get the heck out of Oakland, uh, because Eloy almost got seriously hurt. He got hurt, but thankfully not seriously on a foul ball into the dugout because of the poor design and construction of this trash stadium. And don't get me wrong, I think it's kind of cute. It's like, oh, their stadium's weird. It, no, now people are just getting hurt. This is dangerous. There's no netting in front of the dugout. Like, that's insanity. Uh, that's besides the point, though. Eloy's okay. It was just a shin bruise, I believe, so he'll be fine. Uh, but second, uh, Dallas Keuchel's on the bump on Wednesday. Uh, he's probably gonna, We're probably going to lose that game because Dallas Keuchel, honestly, has been pitching very poorly at this point, and he has truly become a liability to this team. Um, I like the guy. Like, he, he seems like a good person. However, he has become a bad pitcher um, and the guy that I think should replace him is actually pitching on Thursday uh, Ronaldo Lopez he faces off against Sean uh, Manaya. had to spell that one out uh, you know give the phonetic spelling for myself uh, expect Lopez to have a strong September uh, he's gonna be trying to make a push for that final roster spot or that final rotation spot my apologies uh, for the playoffs and right now I think you should get it uh, you can't have Keiko going out they're giving up six runs in the first inning in a meaningful playoff game uh, so Jason, uh, how about you tell us about the weekend series? Yeah. So this weekend we've got three at home Friday, Saturday, Sunday against Boston, who's currently four and six in their last 10. So they're not too hot, not too cold. Kind of like the Royals were coming in. We'll probably see Lance Lynn back from the IL at some point, most likely Sunday. And then I bet we see Cease in this series as well. The pitching rotation around here is getting a little weird with everyone, you know, Giolito going on the 10 day and all that. But this is a series that I'd really like to see the Sox compete in and win because after this game, the really only contender I believe that we play is the Reds. So it'd be good to take two or three here, gain some confidence before we start playing, I think we play Detroit like seven or eight times. So good to get a good competitive series in. And then hopefully we'll get to see Tim Anderson back in the lineup Saturday or Sunday as well. Once he's back, I think all we need is Giolito off the 10 day IL. And then we should be back at full strength. So should be a fun weekend to watch. All right. I agree. And also uh, I may have jinxed the White Sox tonight on Monday night. Uh, I, they have committed two errors in a row and oh it is now six to two with a man on second base. So if they lose my bad, everyone, <laughs> I'm going to take the blame on that one. Uh, but we'll just close and just say they won. Uh, the race to the playoffs is heating up. We'll be with you the whole way. Uh, wake me up when September ends and then we'll, uh, we'll be firing on all, on all cylinders. Everyone will be back from the injured list. So uh, with that, That will do for another episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Tony Cepeda. Thank you to White Sox expert Jason Frank for joining me again today. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And uh, until next time, see you, Southsiders.